How could you possibly date anyone? I mean, look at you. She must be blind. Ooh, a limousine. Oh, there she is. Oh, I can just smell the money already. Here you go, my dear. A throne befitting a queen. Oh, good evening, monsieur. Oh, what might we have on the menu at this fine establishment? Well, you should know, considering the fact that you work here, sod for brains. Speaking of sod, why don't you get rid of this garbage? It's starting to stink up the joint. Don't say such a thing, Squidward! Patty's just a little sick is all. White rubby wubby. I'll show you sick! Squidward, what are you doing with my beautiful Patty? Beautiful, huh? How beautiful do you think this is? <laughs> It's Squidward! Maybe you can't see Patty's beauty, but to me, she's the most gorgeous creature in the sea. Morning. But I wonder how the Dutchman and his new girlfriend are doing. I can't do it! She wants to marry me! I ain't the marrying type! <laughs> Mr. Krabs, this dinner has been so wonderful. The coral was cooked to perfection. Oh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Oh, I doubt that, my little shrimp boat. <laughs> You're spoiling me, Mr. Krabs. I mean, foot rubs between courses, caricatures, imported music. Nothing's too good for you, my prickly peach. Oh, what I'm trying to tell you, Mr. Krabs, is... Uh, sir, your fancy pantsy limousine is here. Wonderful! Hopefully, Pooh, your chariot awaits! Well... Ah! You'll never have to walk again, my little lobster pimp. <clears throat> and now the couple will exchange their vows. Eugene, you have everything I ever wanted in a man. An exoskeleton, freakishly long eye stalks, and the secret Krabby Patty formula. Kishida, you came into my life when I thought I'd live the rest of it alone. You showed me once and for all that while money can't buy you love, it can give you love. Aww. You may now kiss the bride. Oh no, what about the bouquet? Ah, uh, the fun bouquet coming up, Mrs. Krabs. Hey, Karen! Guess what? I finally got the Krabby Patty secret formula. How you like me now? It's genuine. Come here, you big hunk of aquatic organism. I knew you could do it. Just don't blow it this time. Your gentleman caller awaits. Hello, my dear. I must say you look ravishing tonight. Oh my, you're a tiny thing, but awfully cute. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm in the food service business. I'm a bit of a restaurateur. I'm the founder and owner of the Chum Bucket. Never heard of it. It's across the street. Doesn't ring a bell. It's on the back of the phone book. Come on, I paid a lot of money for that ad. Never mind, never mind. I'd like to hear about you. Well... Like the crabs! Eugene! Mommy? Mommy? SpongeBob! There'll be no such thing as opening too early, me boy. Excuse us, miss. Huh? SpongeBob? Who's your friend? Mr. Krabs, this is Patricia. Patricia, the most beautiful sound I've ever seen. SpongeBob, do we need any more help down at the Krusty Krab? No. We do! Great, she can start right away. <laughs> and who are you, my ribbon-esque beauty? What? Patricia, our newest Krusty Krab employee. Well, she sure is stunning. Just keep your eyes on the customers, Mr. Squidward. SpongeBob! What's the meaning of 
to this. Meaning of what, Mr. Krabs? Local resident watches poll. No one's gonna pay to read this malarkey. When you write these stories, you gotta use a little imagination, boy. Imagination. Yeah. Maybe instead of man watches poll, you could say something like, oh, man marries poll. Then you could alter the photo a little to fit the headline and see? Now that's a juicy story. It's time to use my imagination. Hey guys, can you fix me and the wife up a couple of Krabby Patties? SpongeBob? Hello, friends. Enjoying the outside world? What y'all doing sitting in the middle of the floor like that? Oh, living out the remainder of my life in safety. If you guys were smart, you would join me. Just sitting in your house? Ain't you gonna get lonesome? I won't be lonesome. I've got all the friends I need right here. This is Penny. And Chip. And say hello to you's napkin. Oh, Gary! Oh, Gary! <laughs> what? <laughs> Gary? I have never seen anything quite like this. It seems Snelly, the leader, just went back to comfort Gary. Looks like you and I are in laws, eh, Squidward? You still have that horse after I ordered you to get rid of it. Well, now I'm gonna get rid of it once and for all. No, Mr. Krabs, please don't make me give up mystery. I know you think she's just a horse, but she's more than that, I tell you. She listens to me. She understands everything I say, and I understand her. She's my best friend. Oh, it... <laughs> hey, who left this bowl of onions here? Squidward! Hey, Squidward! Squidward! Squidward here! Squidward, look at my new pet. That's no pet. That's a wild animal. No, he isn't. Watch this. That. How many fingers am I holding up? Play dead. I wouldn't let that thing in my house even if it was potty trained. I didn't need to see that. Well, we're going to my house to have a little fun. How can you possibly have fun with a jellyfish? as it should be. I promise never to use this net for anything but pure sport again. Jellyfish aren't meant to be captured forever. <gasps> oh, no name. I guess I can name you now. I'll call you friend. <laughs> Nidaria Rex. King Jellyfish. So much together. to play. 998, 999, 1000. Ready or not, here I come. 
you found me. There you are! <laughs> no! He found us! Sandy and I got married. <gasps> what? No. I'm freaking out! Friends, we have gathered here today to join these two hearts in the bonds of love. SpongeBob, do you take Sandy as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And Sandy, do you take SpongeBob as your lawfully wedded husband? And how? Well then, I now pronounce you Sponge and Squirrel. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Worst play I've ever seen! And a total rip-off! Oh, oh, what has happened to the theater? Lousy costumes! Waste of time! I didn't know this was a play. <laughs> 